Hello students, I am SGATE Academy is conducting post-GATE guidance series in which we will be covering top research institutes of our country like ISCs, IITs and NITs. In this series, we will be talking about the different MTech specialization offered by these colleges, what was the previous year cutoff, what is a placement scenario for these colleges regarding the MTech admissions. So my dear, today's college is ISC Bangalore the top research institute of our country. But the question is, why anyone should go for ISC Bangalore? The first and the prominent reason is, if you are looking forward your career in advanced research, then this college should be your first choice. In this college, government funding is provided for advanced research. Along with that, you have advanced labs like structural engineering labs, you have geotechnical centrifuge facility, then you have computational modeling units. So for doing your research, world-class research facilities are available at ISC Bangalore. Along with it, you have a very strong faculty pool here. These faculties have the fellows of INAE, they are Shanti Swaroop Bhatnagar awardees and they are also internationally recognized researchers. So you will get a chance to do your research or conduct your research under the guidance of the top researchers of our country which are globally recognized. Along with that, you will get a chance to work in real world projects which are funded by the organizations like ISRO, DRDO and then you have Ministry of Road, Transport and Highways. So, ISC Bangalore is first of all the top research institutes. Easy government fundings are provided in this institute to conduct advanced research. The faculties present here are like these faculties are the top faculties of our country in terms of research and guidance. The next reason could be since the intake is less, so you have low student to faculty ratio which makes the mentoring more effective. You will get the proper guidance by the mentors and the faculties or the guides to conduct your research. You will be receiving pre-placement offers, PPOs, through internships in national and international research organization. Along with that, IC Bangalore has a very strong alumni network. And IC Bangalore also partners with MIT, UC Berkeley and Cambridge universities for collaborative research and student exchange program. So if you are doing your masters from ISC Bangalore, especially MTech, you have a chance to read one semester of your MTech in these foreign universities like MIT, UC Berkeley or Cambridge University. So these could be your possible reasons why anyone should look forward for joining a master program at ISC Bangalore. Before moving ahead, I would just like to tell you one thing. The top researchers of our country are the graduates or the postgraduates from ISC Bangalore. ISC Bangalore will not offer you any B.Tech course. It offers you the master programs, especially the M.Tech, M.S. or M.Des program. Okay. Before moving ahead, I would just like to make a few announcements. First of all, a Telegram group link is provided to you in the description box. So if you want to enjoy the daily quizzes, you can join our Telegram group. Next, we at IMS Gate Academy, we provide you with a live online program where we are providing with 800 hours of live teaching with interaction. We provide you with theory and exercise book containing 4,000 practice questions, well versed in level 1, level 2 and level 3. We provide you with 33 years of gate question bank containing detailed solution, alternate solution, video solution along with key points in chapter overview. We provide you with 12 personalized one-to-one -one mentoring session which helps you stay focused, oriented and motivated and well planned throughout your entire preparation journey. We provide you with India's largest test series containing 130 plus test is starting from the chapter test, subject test, multiple subject test, advanced subject test along with full length mock test. If you want to know more about our courses, you can book a free counseling session for which the link is provided to in the description box. Let's move ahead with this. IC Bangalore has a total intake of 32 seats for civil engineers. Unlike other colleges where the seats are given based on the specialization, IC Bangalore has a total intake of 32 civil engineers, right? These 32 civil engineers will going to read the same coursework in the first year. And then based on their personal interest, they can choose the area of research in the second year. 
So there is no divide in the first year based on the specialization. There is a total intake of 32 students. Now you can see this. If the total seats are 32 and these 32 are the top gate scorers, so definitely the gates cut off for this institute has to be slightly high. Usually we tell our students that if you have anything below less than 150 rank, you have a good chance to get this college. In fact, we have observed from few years that for this particular college, ISC Bangalore, the cutoff is even less than 100 rank. Okay, so you have to be really good in your technical to read your masters from this particular college. Next, the selection criteria is 100% gate score. Sometimes they conduct interview, but most of the times, if you have a gate score, you will be shortlisted for this based on your merit. Here I have attached some of the category wise cutoffs. For gate 24, general category cutoff was 713. This is gate score, right? For EWS, it was 462. For OBC and non creamy layer, it was 612. For SC, it is 486. And for ST, it is 440. And this is the complete matrix that you can see. So for general category, you can see this. The cutoff is usually above 700. For EWS category, it fluctuates slightly based on the number of EWS candidates applying for this particular college. Then you have this non-OBC, non-creamy layer. Again for this, if you have anything above 650 gate score, you have a very good chance to get this particular college. For SC and ST category, again, if you have anything above 500 gate score, you have a very good chance to get this particular college. Now you can see this particular row, right? This was the gate score for last student who, have, who was enrolled in this particular program at ISC Bangalore. So previous year, the paper was slightly difficult. It was moderate to difficult. This time, the paper was easy to moderate. So you can see a slight increase in all these cutoffs. Means precisely for general category, what we are expecting is this will shoot up to 750. For EWS, definitely it will going to shoot above 550. For this OBC non creamy layer, again it will slightly shoot up to 650. And then for SC and ST category, it will slightly shoot up above 550, right? So its gate score will be slightly shooting up this time. So students who are scoring anything in this range that I have said, they can expect a seat at ISC Bangalore. Next, my dear, <coughs> these are the different areas of study or area of research that you can do in the second year. You can choose a project in geotechnical engineering, water resource engineering, environmental engineering, structural engineering, transportation system engineering, or dam engineering. So for first year, the coursework of all the 32 students will be same. In the second year, they can choose the project in any of these areas and accordingly their MTech degree will be provided. For example, if you are doing your project in geotechnical engineering, your MTech degree from ISC Bangalore will be your geotech specialization, geotechnical engineering specialization, it will be mentioned there. Similarly, if you are doing your project in structural engineering, so definitely your MTech degree will be structural engineering from ISC Bangalore. Then moving ahead with this, <coughs> the next is few interdisciplinary branches are also there in which civil gate score is considered. Like you can see for this aerospace engineering, if you have a civil gate score of 915, then this was the cutoff for civil engineering students. So like that you have climate science, CP computational and data science, earth science and bioengineering for which you are also eligible even if you have a civil gate score. I have taken all the authentic data, right, directly from the website. So whatever data is missing here, that data is also not provided by the website, as simple as that, okay. So whatever data we will be providing in this post gate guidance series will be the verified data. It will not be any random data and it will be a verified data from the verified source, okay. So you can believe on whatever data we are providing you blindly and you can make the choice filling accordingly. Let's move ahead with this. At ISC Bangalore, for taking the admission, the process is simple. First of all, whenever COAP portal will be active, common offer acceptance portal, this will be active after your gate result. First, you have to register yourself in this COAP portal. One COAP registration ID will be generated. Using that registration ID, you have to apply separately at ISC Bangalore. 
So in the website of ISC Bangalore, there will be a link which will be again generated after this CUAP registration. So using that CUAP ID, CUAP registration ID, you have to apply separately for the MTech program at ISC Bangalore. Then only your name will be considered for counseling rounds. And once you have applied at this ISC, now all the counseling rounds you have to monitor from this COAP portal, right? If you are if you are getting any uh, this thing offer from ISC Bangalore, it will be visible in this COAP portal. So the mode of communication will be this COAP portal, and accordingly, all the instructions will be provided in this COAP portal regarding your choice filling choice selection, choice rejection, waiting for the next subsequent round. So all those details will be highlighted in the COAP portal, right? If you look into the ed, uh, placement scenario for ISC Bangalore, for the final batch which is graduated, like who have completed their masters last year, for them the highest CTC was 85 lakh and the median CTC was 22.5 lakh. This is for masters I am talking about. The students only who have completed their masters and if you believe the reports which are coming from the different personnel, I am not sure about it. But whatever information I am getting by speaking with the candidates who are doing their masters, especially in ISC Bangalore, the placement observed was somewhere around more than 90%, especially for MTech students. Those students who want a job after masters, they were completely placed and most of the students after doing their MTech from ISC Bangalore, they prefer going for higher studies like PhD and other courses. Okay. So pre-placement offers in a form of internship that is offered at ISC Bangalore. So the highest stipend offered is 1.1 lakh per month and the average stipend offered is 72,000 per month. This is pre-placement. Like after completing your first year, this is the paid internship that you might get at ISC Bangalore. Okay. So this is the complete guide regarding ISC Bangalore related to the cutoffs. What is the placement scenario? Then what are the different areas of study that you can go for? And most importantly, why to choose ISC Bangalore that we have covered initially. So I hope this information is sufficient for you to make a decision and take a call for ISC Bangalore. Before ending this video, if you, if you want to enjoy the daily quizzes, you can join our Telegram group for which the link is provided to in the description box. We at IMS Gate Academy, we provide you with the online program, offline program, hybrid program and the self-learning program where we are providing with 800 hours of live teaching with interaction. We provide you with theory and exercise book containing 4000 practice questions, well versed in level 1, level 2 and level 3. We are providing with 33 years of gate question bank containing detailed solution, alternate solution, key points and chapter overview. We provide you with 12 personalized one-to-one -one mentoring sessions so that you are well focused, well planned in your entire gate preparation journey. We are providing with 130 plus online tests starting from the chapter test, subject test, multiple subject test, advanced subject test and the full length mock test. If you want to know more about our courses, you can book a free counseling session for which the link is provided to you in the description box. We at IMS Gate Academy, we provide you with a Gate Zero Fee program just for you to have an idea what we do at IMS Gate Academy with how much authenticity we complete the course in very less time with adequate practice, with adequate feedback from the test. For that, we are providing you with 50 hours of concept video that too totally free. We are providing with three free gate chapter test and the subject test and one personalized guidance session. So this is our gate zero fee program again for which you will find the link in the description box. So you can avail this gate zero fee program to make a call for IMS Gate Academy, which is a one step solution for gate preparation. My dear, I would like to congratulate our toppers for gate 2024s who have done their hard work and landed themselves into top colleges like ISCs, IITs and NITs and their hard work have paid them all. So I would just like to congratulate them once again for a fantastic exam of GATE 2024. So if you have liked the video, if you have enjoyed the information, don't forget it to share with your friends. Sharing is caring and if you haven't subscribed the channel, kindly do it. So this is your lead mentor from IMS GATE Academy, Pratik Mishra, signing off with a smile. And we will be coming up with other videos in which I will be covering top IITs and NITs, their cutoffs, 
placement scenarios and the top mtech specialization offered by those colleges and basically also the admission process so thank you so much have a great day ahead bye